Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this glowy, sort of warm, dramatic makeup look. This video is in collaboration with Strawberry Net, so firstly, thank you so much for collaborating with me. I'm really excited to be working on this video with you. So what I love about Strawberry Net is the first thing that I noticed when I jumped on their website was how many brands of makeup they stock. They actually stock 33,000 products from more drugstore products to very, very high-end products. Strawberry Net carries some of my favorite, favorite brands from like Giorgio Armani to Urban Decay, Nars, Laura Mercier. I did pick up a whole bunch of more like higher end products because Strawberry Net does add a huge discount to loads of these makeup products so you can get really high end for a really awesome discounted price. Strawberry Net also has a phone app that you guys can download. It makes the shopping experience so much easier. If you're out and about and you hear of a product or see a product that you really want, you can quickly jump onto the Strawberry Net app and check it out and see if they have the product that you you want which I'm sure they will and they also have a 24-7 online support system so if you can't find a product if you're having trouble with the website they do have the 24-7 customer service team that you can just ask and they're more than happy to help you I do also have a discount code for strawberry nuts so I'm gonna leave that on the screen here for you and also down in the description box so make sure to utilize that code I'm not making any money on this code it is purely for you guys to save some money when you're purchasing some awesome makeup products so let's jump into opening the box here. It came to me really, really quickly actually. And I think I got about five products. So the first thing in the box is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I've wanted this for so, so long. And because the prices are discounted on Strawberry Net, I figured why not splash out and actually get this foundation. So I got the shade 6.5. I'm very excited to give this one a go. I also got a NARS Super Orgasm Illuminator. I'm really into cream products lately, so you'll see a bit of a trend when I'm doing my makeup today. Definitely into creams rather than powders lately. I also got a Becca Mineral Blush in Flower Child. I love Becca. Becca stuff. I got a Laura Mercier face illuminator. This one here is in the shade Seduction. I've actually never tried anything from Laura Mercier so this will be really interesting. And last but not least I picked up the NARS bronzing powder in the shade Casino. So I've just primed my skin and I'm going to be going in first with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Oh the packaging is so nice. It's like actual glass and I'm really hoping this shade works for me. 6.5. It looks right on the website. It does look I was gonna say it looks a bit light but on the skin it actually looks like it will work so I'm just applying like a full pump of foundation I actually haven't been using as much like foundation recently I don't like as sort of full of coverage I also have very very dry skin so I'm hoping that this isn't too matte so I'm just gonna be blending that in using a brush. Hmm, the color actually looks like it's gonna be really good I was a little bit scared when I first opened that up because it did look quite light in the bottle it actually looks like it's matching me perfectly. It does look very dewy. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. So far, I'm actually really, really liking this foundation. It's so glowy and it feels really, really light on the skin. Next, I'm gonna be going in with some concealer. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way a multi-use sculpting concealer and I use the shade Golden Beige. I've absolutely been freaking loving this concealer lately. It's so high coverage and the shade range is insane and just blending that out with a sponge now I'm gonna take my Mecca Max banana bake skin filter loose powder to set under my eyes now I'm going to be taking the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick just to do a bit of cream contouring and bronzing before I go ahead with my powder products bit under the chin to get rid of that double chin so now I've added some dimension back to my face. I'm not looking so like flat. Now I'm going to be taking my NARS Super Orgasm Illuminator that I purchased off of Strawberry Net. Mm, this looks really, really pretty. So as I said, I'm really into cream products. So I'm going to be trying to use this as like a cream blush before I go in with the Becca blush. So I'm just going to apply some on the back of my hand first. It does definitely have like a really nice gold sheen in it. And just stippling that into my cheeks. So it definitely does have a big sheen to it, which I actually love. It looks so like luminous on the skin. It doesn't have that much color, so you could definitely just use this as more of like a cream highlighter rather than a blush. A little bit goes a long way. Like you can see how much I have on my hand there and I barely used any and it looks so nice on the skin. 
Ooh, this might be a new favorite. Now I'm gonna take my NARS bronzing powder. This one here was in the shade Casino. So it's quite like a red toned bronzer, which normally I don't go for. I go for more of like an orangey bronzer, but we'll try this. This could work really well as a contour shade. Mmm, that color's really nice. Might blend some of that up into my cheeks as well. And I'm gonna go over that cream contour we did on my forehead. I'm actually really impressed by this product as well. Now I'm going to be taking that Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Moon Child. This shade is a really pretty like pinky peach shade. It also looks like it has a bit of like a luminous glow in it as well. So I'm just going to be taking this over top of the NARS Super Orgasm Illuminator. Mm, there we go. This product actually complements that NARS product really well. It's a very similar tone, but it is bringing out a little bit more color in my cheeks, which I wanted. What I'm gonna do now, just because I can, is I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator. I'm pretty sure from memory, this was quite a like bronzy shade. So I might use this as a bit of like a bronzer topper. Ooh, look at that. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, yeah. I love that as well. Might even put some of that on my body. So far, I'm still really liking that foundation. It hasn't like settled in any of my fine lines yet. It's not sitting in my crow's feet. Overall, it looks really nice and the color looks perfect for my skin tone. Now moving on to eyes, I'm gonna be taking the NARS Casino Bronzer again and I'm just gonna be running this through my crease. I love using bronzers as my crease shade and that way your whole look is really consistent. Ooh, I really like that shade as an eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna go back in with the Laura Mercier Illuminator and I might actually apply a little bit of this to my lid space as well. And I'm just gonna be patting this on my eyelid. Now I'm very inclined to just leave the eye look here but I think I am gonna apply a little bit of winged liner, may as well dramatize it up a little. So first I'm just gonna be using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and that's how I'm gonna be creating the wing. Mm, not that even, but that's okay. And now I'm just gonna be using my Rimmel Glamize Liquid Liner to fill in the wing. It has been a long time since I created a very dramatic wing, but I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I did go a little bit thicker than I wanted to, and they're not perfectly even, but that's life with makeup. Now for lashes, I'm gonna be taking these Bold Eyed Lashes. These are my favorite, favorite lashes, and these are in the style Isolade. Now that my lashes are on, I'm just gonna be going back in with the NARS Bronzer to blend the two shades together. Now I'm gonna take my lash curler and curl my natural lashes with my falsies and I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara now for some inner corner highlight I'm gonna be taking my benefit what's up liquid highlighter now I'm just gonna do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be back in a sec now that we finished with eyes I'm gonna be going in with my Mac boldly bare lip liner and I'm just slightly overdrawing my lips and for lipstick, I'm just going for a really nude lip, so I'm going to be taking my MAC Flesh Pot Lipstick. So guys, that is the end of the video. I'm going to leave all of the details for Strawberry Net down in the description box below, and I'll also list all of the products that I used and all the links to the products that I purchased from Strawberry Net. I will also leave my discount code down in the description box, so make sure to use that if you guys are going to purchase anything from Strawberry Net. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel or haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.